right guys we're heading over to Pioneer Park to do a Bugs 2 test in like 18 degree weather so we'll see what kind of battery life uh, we can get out of that thing um, at 18 degrees now the problem with flying and when it's this cold it's really sunny out I mean it's nice the weather's very clear it's just super cold the problem with uh, doing this kind of crap is of course you know you can um, have a catastrophic motor failure in this kind of cold I'm keeping the the bugs nice and warm in the back seat while I'm on my way to the park so uh, it'll be nice and toasty when I uh, take off by the time I take off it takes me a couple minutes to set the compass and all that crap so it shouldn't be able to get that cold in those few minutes. The park's about five minutes away from from right now, so or less. Well, I got a nice and toasty in the car. One thing I noticed about uh, this park, and I didn't notice it until I shot this video with the Phantom was that you get a lot of interference over here and I never noticed those cell towers that were right past the park until I was watching back the um, the video from the Phantom because you remember when I did those uh, that tests for the up air one where the follow me stuff wouldn't work well I tried that with the phantom too and it wouldn't work and it kept saying there was all this interference but I never noticed those cell towers that were here until I watched back the video from the phantom so now I'm wondering if that had something to do with the crash of that up air one if that interference at this Pioneer Park so I don't think I'll be flying too many more of a of my expensive quads over at this place because uh, when the see DJI they have a lot more tech in their quads than the um, than G10 you know with the up air one so when I'm flying the the DJI quads over here they're flashing on the screen and they'll use caution interference and all that other crap where the, the up air one doesn't tell you any of that you know it doesn't have that kind of tech so that might have been the reason that the um, that the thing failed to begin with it might not have been uh, something faulty even though they sent me another one or fixed that one or whatever they did it looked like a new one except for the battery but that might have been the um, that might have been what the problem was all along. Uh, the the tower is right. You can see that basketball hoop right there to your right. If you keep going past those trees right there, there's a uh, a cell tower. So I think that might have been what was causing some of these issues. All right, guys. I'm leaving the park and man I'll tell you phew, it was windy as hell and cold as shit my fingers are freezing but that bugs too man it uh, phew, wow I must have one of the real good ones because that baby performs beautifully I mean that thing flies magnificently even in this wind and cold as hell the battery lasted I'm not sure I mean I'll put the flight time in the video but the battery seemed like it uh, actually lasted a long time because I was actually getting bored you know 
sometimes you get bored when you're just out there flying and nothing's happening there's nothing to see you know so sometimes you'll go oh you know I wanted to stop it but I wanted it to, I wanted to run the whole battery out to see how uh, how long it would go in this 18 degrees so um, I don't think anybody's gonna have any trouble with this thing in the cold weather I mean it's 18 degrees and it flew for a long time I would say I would say pretty close to 10 minutes that would be my guess I can't it, it's hard to judge but I would say around 10 minutes it went and when it came down when it landed when the uh, I let it run actually for a couple of minutes past or a minute past the low battery um, uh, warning deal because I was uh, farting around with my run cam trying to figure out why that wouldn't work I think the battery was dead in it but uh, it uh, when it came down when I finally hit the land button and it landed uh, that thing was cold as hell because I took it up a uh, you know like 300 feet so it it uh, it got really cold you know the body felt like it almost it was uh, damp you know from it being up so high uh, in the clouds and stuff but uh, yeah oh yeah you're not going to have no trouble in the cold weather with that thing. I can tell you that right now. So go ahead and take it out if you were worried about it. The Bugs 2 uh, definitely can handle uh, the cold weather. All right, guys. I'm heading over to Best Buy. for. A, I got to get uh, those um, filters for the uh, Mavic Pro. So... Alright, I'll talk to you later.